today we're walking and talking about the journey with AP Bassin. All right, here's your walk and talk. All right, uh, might have to find a new spot. Why? <laughs> Today we're walking and talking with AP Bassin. Gonna like kind of talk about like why the heck I'm in with this guy right now. How the heck we've met. Yo, how did we meet anyway, bro? Oh, what's, look at all these rules these guys keep. No fishing on or near boat dock. Greenhead, greenhead. Pop off, pop off. That's what I love about this AP guy. He's just such a rebel. He's all business. He wears a suit, but his pants are sagging at the same time. That makes any sense to you? Rules, rules, schmools, free world. Like what's your take on all? What's my take on the free world? Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't really think it's a free world. US, Canada, we're pretty free. You just don't look at signs. You don't look at nothing. You just go for it. He's all American. He just goes for stuff and does it. Yeah, how do we meet AP? Through the vines of social media. We did 39 hours season two together. And before that we shot, did we shoot 39 hours first? No, we started shooting together before that, bro. What did we shoot before that? I think we shot that Toronto vid together when Crazy Lady kicks us out. And then also the Perch vid. That was before 39 hours. Am I correct? It is. Wow, okay. Now we have to even go back before that. Maybe four years ago? How did we even get there? That's another question. The love of fishing. And mutual friends. We must have met through Aaron, Jay. Uncut Angling, and yeah. Jay. That just shows you how meeting someone isn't that important. More just about continuing the friendship over time. It's hard though. We're both very busy people. You have a family. Well, basically we met through Aaron and Jay and uncut angling and we shot a few videos beforehand somehow which is crazy i don't even know how that came about we did meet definitely through mutual friends i guess we got along right away bro we just kind of just clicked somehow and just had so much fun together what do you think like when we first met you came to my house and it's like oh jay oh smallies with jay that's right we did a vid with jc mints try to break the record the youtuber record at that time oh that was the first time we met that's the first time we met smallies with jay okay oh and we man broke, we broke the youtube record that still to this day is my biggest smallmouth bass i've ever caught wow yeah to this day yeah it seems like yesterday that video took place but in, in reality that was a that was five years ago six years ago and that's where we first met and then we started doing a couple of other vids he came to toronto we got kicked out and that's where i kind of really is like this ap guy he just like rolls with whatever goes and uh i don't know you taught me a lot this guy honestly he's lived the life of a 200 year old man he's seen like maybe 10 lifetimes in most people's lifetimes what they would see yeah he's so young and vibrant but at the same time he has so much experience and wisdom them, which is bizarre is that ever weird for you the amount of things you've seen and the amount of places you travel does things ever get like is it hard to relate to some people sometimes or is it easier i don't know i don't know either but i do really appreciate all the travel like i feel like it shaped me in a positive way so i always like to travel and go to new places and meet new people that really helps you get a gauge on the world and what's going on you're a real go-getter i would say and you just say yes to everything and i'd always be second guessing and you're just kind of like yes let's do it so like one thing that ap's taught me is just the word yes just do it i think the attitude of just going for it is like ap in a nutshell he just goes for it he just does it he has such a positive outlook every day like i'd say you're super open-minded honestly through his playlist wild we listen to so much music on the way here he's listening to everything from 70s we have like what garth rook to a little uzi we listen to tom petty we listen to kanye west i've never seen someone with such a wide <laughs> music range i'm talking a real mixed bag a lot of del rey is really number one del rey life. that's my daughter's favorite that's this is my daughter's gonna go wild for that that's her favorite i think looking at a playlist kind of tells me a lot about you too you know goes back to that thing you know like that hundred lifetimes in this young body but still so much energy jumping in the bushes we made a lot of mistakes on this trip that we just shot we uh, did make a lot of mistakes and we just kind of like together made the best out of everything just keep on going mistakes is like we could have caught more fish the weather hindered us and uh, we lost a few like those brown trout are just hard and that's life yeah you saw fish large mouth I need the 110 plus. What I love about him, after being friends with him for so long, this is really a big thing for me. No matter where he's at or what's going on, he doesn't say a lot, but he seems to always have a plan. And if you're his friend, it's gonna be in your favor. He always has a vision for everyone around him that he likes and loves. And uh, I would say that, yeah, he's so sneaky smart, but in a positive way. On YouTube, I'm just a, a young buck coming up in the game. And he's kind of a old vet on YouTube. It's so bizarre, right? And he's kind of like coaching me through the whole process and uh, you know, just been in my my corner man and having someone like that in your corner i feel blessed bro because the life that he lives and i live it's not normal and it's not easy like this guy goes to crazy efforts like we just filmed how many days in a row he's about to drive another 11 hours right now to go fish in winnipeg like he just non-stop goes the wheels are falling off the bus guns are blazing and um nothing seems to affect this guy seems to be just like bulletproof he hit a deer his bumper is destroyed no big deal just keep going
going. Bearings whining, no big deal. Just keep going. Something bad happens, we'll shoot it and we'll make the best of the bad. <laughs> You're the master of like, well, let's make the best of this and just like make a story. And then it's not a story, it's real life. Keep you know, going. I think people can relate to that realness. Look, his pants aren't even sagging, but it's a figure of speech. They are, you know, he just goes OT style. I'll be real. There was a time in my life where I didn't have a belt. It wasn't yeah. part of my fashion. And right now I don't have an army. Look at me, no belt, just sagging. <laughs> I will say though. You did have a belt in your time of your life? I usually wear a belt. I just didn't wear it today for you yeah. to say this metaphor or whatever it is. It's not a metaphor. It's just a, I don't even know what it is. I'm just gonna say it like sagging your pants is cool, but wearing a belt It's easy to have your belt all the way up nice fit Don't ever have to worry about pulling it up every time you pull it up It's like you could use that second to do something else. So you probably just want to wear a belt <laughs> So it is a figure of speech. He's a kind of a rebel. He just does it his way and he's so successful at doing that Not being with the grain the norm of society and taking care of his brothers the loyalty Where does your loyalty come from? This guy's one of the most loyal friends in the game I've crossed a lot of people in my path and they ain't the best guy guys AP I know what you're saying I'll say this this is huge right here this is what I want to say about AP you know those guys that always play on the team that's winning they jump ship to ship because that team's winning yeah, if, that, ain't fun. that ain't fun AP will play on that team that's losing and be like yo what's up that's why your pants are sagging you know what I mean like yo is that what's fun there's dudes in our industry that always just jump ship to ship and put their belt on tight and put put their tie on and say the right things are with the right people and as soon as like my views go down they don't talk to me anymore yeah. my views are like one 1,000 views, 100 views. I could call AP answers his phone. It's like, yo, Terrell, what's up, my brother? Let's go do something. I just do that because I like hanging out with you and making videos and just whatever. You know, it's fun. That's real, right? He doesn't play on the team that's winning. He plays on the team that he wants to play for. You know what I mean? That's what I love about this guy from the heart. Um, my famous rock. Sometimes I sit here when I'm out of ideas, especially in June. And I can see like 10 inch bluegills right there. See that? Yeah. Those holes, you can almost see the old holes from in the spawn. Any big bluegills in here? Back in like 70s, somebody caught just a giant, but I don't know what happened to that gene. I think you might have ate it. Oh, this day is beautiful, man. Beautiful. That's where that nine pound bass was. Look at that here's, here's There's the waterfall. a nine pound bass on here. Did you see a picture of it? I never saw a picture of it. It's just a folklore story. And there's walleyes in here? Walleyes, yeah. Crappy. Mostly fished out. Mostly fished out lake. But this is my year this year. I'm going to walk into that H away there because yeah. it's a homeowner's association yeah and i'm gonna start demanding catch and release more fish stockings like it's just it can't get hammered like it got hammered no spraying of the weed too like let's just leave some weeds yeah. i like the weeds tons either. of weeds yeah we need that oh yeah this is a good question i asked jay the same question i asked him if he had 200 million but what would you do if you had 400 million what would ap do if you had 400 million dollars this response is a bit practice because i did get the question last night but when i thought about this this was exactly what came off my mind like right away it, it was four things i immediately thought I'm going to break the money up into four categories because with that sort of money, it's like, it's, it's different. You're, you're part of the 1% of the 1%. And my first hundred million would be dedicated to a, I don't even know what kind of stock portfolio would be driven by. I would do my research and find somebody in his twenties who understood the markets and who liked the markets. And with a hundred million, I feel like I could set that guy up and my retirement and all my kids' retirements, like a hundred million at a modest 5% return a year. How much is that, Daryl? I don't know. 5 million a year. Just at five percent that's big money so you can just make five million a year you give that guy a mill you take war off that i'm just saying you got to be smart with your money would you take a 40 something year old guy that's a fishing guide full-time i don't think you would be my financial <laughs> advisor but i would find a financial advisor and then the next hundred million i'd buy a mega yacht which would be my home i'd live nomadic on a yacht nomadic i'd travel around that's but dope. the yacht would be dope because it's a hundred million dollars so i'd have everything probably a helicopter like just dumb stuff djs djs hot tubs hot tub cold tub saunas bass, bass fishing rod holders Duck. ducks everything blinds Shotgun. Guns, shotguns, rifles, pistols, AKs, <laughs> handguns, restricted, non-restricted, everything. Is there any money left over after that? Okay, so we still have 200 million left. Yeah. Then the next 200 million would be my Alex Perrick is going to do good for the world. So I'd spend 100 million on the world. And I don't know how I'd spend it on the world, but some sort of food, crimes against humanity. And then the last 100 million would be my organization. I'd start a fund myself. So I'd donate 100 and then I'd keep 100 for myself to slowly donate over time. And I'd create a team of like really savage individuals. Meaning? They want to kill people, but I've convinced them that we can't kill people because yeah. God's only authority to kill people. And we have to go capture these people and put them in cages. But there, it's a specific list of people that I would go after. Um, We talked earlier about 
something too. You're talking about like, yeah, if I had 400 million, people want to hear me say like I can save the world. But you're saying that 400 million, that's not enough to save the world and just feed people. You can't just like say, here's 400 million, save a nation from starvation. It money, doesn't work like that, right? Money doesn't solve all your problems. No matter how you think about it, people think money solves every issue. It's just not like that. There's power in politics, which are even scarier than money. Yeah, and that's like, you can't even move no matter how much money you have. So it's almost like you got to start with what you can and then build from there to maybe help more and more, yeah. I guess. You know what I mean? I think that's what kind of smart about your first hundred million, the investment. See, that's what goes back to this guy always has a plan. It seems like to me that even if you don't know the plan, if you're hanging around him, it's going to be good for you somehow. He's always thinking about his brothers. I think he's just a loyal friend. That's what I've seen through this journey. One of my vids are doing crap. One of my vids are doing good. It does not matter. It's always the same. What would you say is your biggest accomplishment so far? It's so weird. You've accomplished so much. And how old are you now? I'm 26 yeah. years old. Yeah. Almost 26 and a half, but not quite. Can't even believe how young this guy is because when we talk and we drive and the experiences he sees and the wavelength that he's thinking on i just feel like i'm a two-year-old the only thing i have on you is being a dad <laughs> i got two kids and a wife that's the only thing that you know i feel like you haven't experienced yet <laughs> you know what i mean and that's gonna change some stuff you know i just recently had the pleasure of meeting his dad and uh mr perker he was just pure gold such a genuine guy he's just always thinking about his son and his well-being making sure he's safe i could see fabric that this guy comes from from. And his dad told me stories about his old buddies and he was always there for his friends No matter if things were going so bad for them Some of the stories were unbelievable or so well for them He was just always there for them no matter what circumstance was that really helped me You know my thought my feeling about who he was really just tied it all in I was like, yeah, I was right that instinct was right You know like he comes from that fabric. Would you say that? Yes. Yes <laughs> Did I force you to say that? No. Yeah, but what's your biggest accomplishment so far? Or does it seem so final if I ask you that? I would say my biggest accomplishment right now. Yeah Currently and up to the state is being able to choose what I want to do. That freedom. And that's what I'm striving for, right? And you're trying to help me get there. But yeah, I would say that's my biggest accomplishment is not having to go to report to a boss or anything like that. You do absolutely exactly what you want and it changes day to day. Yep. And, you, and I think that keeps you from getting bored. You're just like, what's next? I don't know. Let's just go for it. The answer is yes. <laughs> That's what he always taught me. Just say yes. When I'm humming and hawing about something, I'm just like, this is a great opportunity. Just do it. If it goes bad, it goes bad. If it goes sad, it goes sad. But at least you, you did something and that experience, you're going to learn from it no matter what. Keep going. Definitely inspiring to me creative wise. I would say like my style of video, like I definitely have that parrot rebellious side to me and that kind of like keeps me young. Yeah. And uh, I like to take care of my own too, you know? So I think that's what we have in common, you know? If you look at us and our, and our upbringing is totally different, but that kind of thing is like a, definitely a bridge uh, where I feel like we have that common ground. But where we don't have that common ground is like this guy's business sharp at the same time, which and inspires me. Like I can't help other people unless I can help myself. And that's where parrot kind of like always on point he's successful he's business minded he's always going forward that way it's actually good for all his friends because he's like giving them good advice and uh, he's able to do like crazy creative stuff with frostbite brings the whole team out we go to dinners we shoot vids and if Perk wasn't business minded none of that good fun creative stuff could happen for all these guys and at the same time everybody's winning when you're around this guy my biggest regret and hey if you were if we were losing we figure i would out still a, be with you we, and we'd, we'd figure <laughs> and out and so a way would you win. yeah we'd, we'd figure out, out a way yeah what's your biggest regret brother um my biggest regret are you ready i would say sometimes yeah in the past i've lost myself and i know you're you were giving me all sorts of praise on being for other people but it is true that you got to make sure you don't just you know you you do stuff because it's for you i think sometimes in the past i've just i don't know want with like old companies of mine like saying yes to people i shouldn't have said yes to. right and you've always said and you kind of say yes to everything and go for it but then maybe with wisdom i would have known all oh, you know what actually you know all that probably wasn't worth the headache you know but you don't know that unless you do it so you got to do it you got to do it you almost got to go through the pain to gain so yeah. maybe that's not my biggest regret yeah what is your biggest regret you might not have any no regrets that, baby because like you just keep moving on pot sometimes i do regret way. not spending enough time with my family like this life yeah you know yeah i don't obviously i'm i don't have any children at home, but i do have my parents and my mom and my sisters and i'm going on a little family vacation here soon that's good and sometimes in the past i've given grief like oh i can't do this like i gotta i gotta get some work done but i'm really excited to go spend some time with my family you seem like you're always in contact with them after driving a few days i see you're always talking to your dad i can't wait to meet your mom and your other family members because it's anything like your dad man he was just like gold hilarious from the heart solid brother you know what i mean would you agree with that yeah. well i think most of my friends like my dad more than they like me but here's a clip pops <laughs> you gotta take risks you don't take risks in life you're gonna get so if you're going into a tricky situation make sure you got the proper shit on so if the shit goes south you're ready 
To put it all in a nutshell, it's not the strong man that wins the war, it's the ready man. Pops is the best. Pops is the best.